Imagine you deleted a file from your laptop and also from the recycle bin. Now what you will do? The first step you will do, go to the Google and start finding data, recovery, software and then go for the link and download it. And then when you will download the software, you realize that it needed a license and then you will find for the crack version and look for the key and your half day is wasted. But if I tell you, you don't need to go anywhere. It is already in your system and it is a free of cost. I'm talking about the Windows file recovery software. Yes, fam, it is freely available in Microsoft Store. You need to click on Microsoft Store and on the search bar, you need to write Windows file recovery. So this is the window file recovery. Let's go to the overview and the system requirement before downloading it. So if I click on the system requirement, so your OS will be Windows 10 version 19041.0 or a higher than that. So I have the version 2004, so I have met all the requirements. So you can see here. So in the meanwhile, it's downloading. Let's see the Microsoft page of it. So recover lost file on Windows 10. So fam, the one point I want to highlight here, Windows file recovery, which is a command line app. Yes, this is a currently a command line app and there is no GUI, GUI is available right now. So if you are afraid of the command line, maybe you need to think about it. One thing I want to highlight here, which is very, very important. So if you want to increase your chances of recovering a file, minimize or avoid using your laptop. In the Windows file system, the space used by a deleted file is marked as a free space, which means the file data can exist and be recovered. But any use of your computer can create the file which may override the free space. So basically what happened when you just delete a file, um, operating system create a space in your disk. So if you, you know, start doing your stuff on the laptop, you can just copying the data. So it can override the free space which you just deleted the file. So it's better if you want to recover your data, just shut down your laptop or do the stuff whatever you want to do outside, come back, open your laptop and just run this utility. Now enough stocks. So it has been installed and I received the message. Let's launch it. So it will ask me for uh, administrator permissions. So this is the first look of a Windows file recovery. Yeah, it is in the command line, but we will see how it works. I just want to go back to again the page. And after this, in the general set, you can see here the different modes. Like this is the default mode example and the segment mode example and uh, also the signature mode. So what is the difference between them? So default mode, is recover a specific file from your C drive to recover the file in E drive, recover the PNG photos, recover PDF and a Word file from your systems. And when you're using a signature mode, it is helpful to first see the supported extension group. So it is basically, you know, depend upon your requirement, you can use the mode. So let me just use a normal segment mode. So I'll just do it. So there is one switch which I just want to tell you is this one. So you need to write win fr then slash exclamatory mark. So you will see now the advanced features, uh, you know, all the tag switches. You want to search in the more detail like a sector by tension. We don't go to that much of detail. Let's just quickly run quick command and see how it will work. I just go back to the Microsoft page again. So in the default mode, I want to just run this command and see how it will work. Paste it. Now I just need to remove username. It will search for all the deleted file from the C drive and create a folder in E drive, press enter. And you will see it will start working. So it will ask you for continue. I say yes. So it is start scanning your desk now. It has created an automatic folder with this name in my E drive. Quickly see if it is already created or not. I just go to the in my E drive. So you can see here the folder has been created. So till it is working in the background, I want to tell you one thing. If you just see this line, the version is 0.01761.0. .0 so it is still in early stages. 
that's why you don't see a budge from a Microsoft that they have released something early stage of development and I'm really expecting that once they will be make it a big release so they will definitely include a GUI or a GUI in it so that will be very helpful for us we, we don't need to go anywhere in the Google and type for you know search for any other software we can directly have it in already in systems okay so the scanning disk is 99% so we are just waiting to it complete and then it, it will start recovering the file so it is now in a pass to recovering file so guys in between it will be you know continuing to the re recovering file process i just want to explain you a little bit about the command which we have written it so that it will be easy to understand so uh, i have wrote this command and if you come here you can see so when fr you has to write it with every command and then the source drive which is in our case is a C drive and then the destination drive which is the E drive in our case and then accordingly you can give the switches and also you can find about the detail here when you go here for accept all the user prompted recover non deleted files these are the switches you can just put it here start recovering some of the files and uh, let's quickly go and see if if it has recovered some of the files i just quickly go to my drive and see so other miscellaneous yes so some of the files which has been you know recovered right now it is also in the process so that's all for the today fam thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel updates heavy and if you have any question if you want to create any command just comment below and i will try to answer that Thank you.